Welcome back. House flipping has never been hotter. The popular trend hit an 11 year high in 2017. However, experts say be careful. There are some important legal pitfalls if you are the buyer. And here to tell us more is attorney Chris Jones with Helmuth and Johnson. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks we for, appreciate thank, it. Thank you for having me. So there are things that you need to know. You say especially like three things that you need to know if you're going to buy a flipped home. And so you want to know, first of all, how long that the person who's flipping it has owned it, right? It's important to understand how long the person has owned the home because that's usually an indication if it's been a flipped house or not. Sometimes you'll learn that through the negotiation process, but sometimes you may not know that. If the house has been owned for less than a year, there's a real high likelihood that it's probably been flipped by the seller. Not necessarily always a bad thing, Not right? necessarily. All right, so you want to know what kind of work's been done in the house as well. The two key questions that you're going to want to ask is what work has been done on the home and who did the work? You want to know for, from a work perspective what work has been done so you can look at it, see what you think about the work, maybe bring somebody in to help you take a look at it. Second most, more, more, most important question is who did the work? Was it done by a contractor, a licensed contractor? Or was it done by the homeowner or a weekend warrior or DIYer? Because those are some different legal issues that created by the depending on who did that work originally. So why does it matter? Do, are you covered or protected more if it was done by a contractor? The licensed contractors have their license by the state of Minnesota. They typically have insurance that mm -hmm. covers the work that they did. There are, is a, re a recovery fund in the state of Minnesota that can help cover if you have a contractor that goes out of business. Those are the reasons that with an uh, individual homeowner you don't have it, typically any of those things. The other question you can do if it's a contractor is you can ask the seller for copies of the documents, right. contracts that they had with that contractor, and that way you can know if there are any warranties that would transfer over to you or that would otherwise give you some additional rights and obligations when purchasing that house. Because if it's done DIY and there's some issue with it, there's not necessarily a warranty. There's not really any uh, recourse for you. As then. of right now, there's no warranty against a seller for the work that they did and they're not, typically not going to have insurance to cover faulty work. So if there's a pipe burst or a pipe leak or some construction defect that exists, that's likely not going to be there for them. Now there is a law that's been passed or law that's been floating in the legislature, a mm -hmm. new bill that's come around to try to give extra protection in that situation where you try to get the, the homeowner working on the home to be covered by the same warranties that a contractor would. But if that doesn't pass and it doesn't get passed by the legislature, then you're going to be stuck with sort of dealing with an unlicensed and maybe an underinsured or uninsured homeowner. My goodness. And then, of course, the, that issue would then span to whether you've just fixed your own basement and then you sold your house or whether it was a flip if you were truly flipping it and doing it yourself I mean there's got to be a distinction there too right sure well it depends <laughs> it, it, it depends on if you're flipping it to try to s sell it quickly and turn right. it around that's why you want to know the time frame in there you know you can if you're using that contract you also have the ability to get references you know look at the contractor right. with the state of Minnesota see if they had any licensing action to do other things to vet that out just like you would when you'd buy have a, the homeowner or the contractor come and work on a home yourself with the homeowner you don't typically get the opportunity to do that a lot of great information we really appreciate it. a lot of things to look out for you Thank might you. not have thought about it well if you missed any of this segment we're going to post it on our 4 p.m. show page just go to care11.com click on the menu located at the top left corner of our home page